Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host, Delta TDS, and... Oh, here we go again. We've got the Pokemon Trainer Bianca going up against the Pokemon Trainer Swordward. Another dumb name of this tournament. Uh, his brother lost, thankfully. Back in match, what, 23, I think it was? I don't remember, but... Now he's here to, uh, I guess, avenge his brother. Bianca has a Z-move, has a Swordward, has a Dynamax Pokemon. What Pokemon do, is that? I don't know. Once these trainers are ready, we can begin at match 33. And hopefully it's sword word loose. I mean, no bias or anything, but... Bianca leads off with the Mianxiao as sword word leads off with the Galissapod. Starting off with that fake out to get some free damage off on that Galissapod. Only 10% and going for the U-turn to switch out to Stoutland. With that Intimidate, lowering Glissapod's attack, making x -Scissor overall only doing 30%. Not looking good here for the Glissapod. I mean, that attack drop is pretty bad for it. But I feel like if it's not switching out here, that Emergency Exit ability is certainly going to force it to switch out. And it does. Switching out into Haxorus to take a wild charge from that stat land. As it gradually heals up, I think, the damage from that recoil. I think it healed up more. I'm not allowed to have bias. Okay. But Swordward, Swordward's a dumb name. Like I've said, it's stupid. Shieldbert's dumb. Stoutland going for the play rough, but missing. As Haxor sets up that Dragon Dance. Haxor is looking pretty scary right now. As Outrage takes out that Stoutland. This thing is looking quite terrifying right now. But maybe Bianca, maybe she's got something to deal with this other than just play rough. Bianca sending out the Masharna as it uses Forewarn and reveals the Outrage. Like we didn't already know that. Good job, Masharna. Uh, it faints and Bianca sends out Imbor. Goes for Outrage again. This thing is just disgusting. Fake out, flinching that Haxorus, finally stopping it in its tracks, only for one turn though. No way. Haxorus goes down to that confusion, finally. Uh, Bianca is just left with two Pokemon as Swordward ugh, has five Pokemon left. First impression it does take out that Simi Sage. As Chandelure is the last Pokemon left. Uh, activating uh, that emergency exit into Bisharp. Flamethrower does take out that Bisharp. Aegislash coming out here. Almost taking out Aegislash. But Night Slash does take out Chandelure with a crit as well. So Swordward takes game number one of match 33. 
Ooh. You know, like I said, no bias here. Okay. I wish all trainers a good chance. You know, I wish Dana a good match against Cynthia. But... It's Swordward. We can all agree it's dumb. Swordward is dumb. Swordward is stupid. It's a dumb name. Okay. If he had, like, a regular person named, like... Alan. He'd be much more tolerable. And have a different hairstyle, too. But we're back on the field here for game number two. Swordward... Unfortunately, took that by quite the quite the lead. Though that is because of a play rough missing. I'm sure if that play rough landed, it would have absolutely taken care of that hackers and had quite a different game. But we didn't see either gimmick from these trainers. So maybe we will see it in this game. Bianca leading off with that Chandelure as Swordward goes with that Haxorus once again. Earthquake does take out that Chandelure. Just off rip. Stoutland coming out here lowering that attack. And doing less than a half with that Earthquake. Play Rough almost taking out that Haxorus. Earthquake getting the crit on the Stoutland as Life Orb takes out Haxorus. So it was a trade. But Swordward sending out the Rampardos as Bianca sends out that Mianchow. We've seen this thing have fake out. And U turn. Also has Drain Punch. Which does take out that, uh, that Rampardos. Aegis Slash coming out here, and you turning out of there. What will it go into? Imbor. Uh, Aegis Slash going for Iron Head. Dealing about a quarter of damage to that Imbor. Going for Z Bulk Up. Getting a plus two attack and a plus one defense. Even with a crit, only doing a quarter. Flare Blitz does take out that Aegis Slash. This Embor is pretty terrifying right now. But Stone Edge does take out that Embor. Mian Xiao used Drain Punch and took out the Bisharp, and Glissapod is back out here, leading off with that first impression. As it goes for Poison Jab and gets the Poison off. Uh, very helpful for Bianca here. Because Glissapod is quite the terrifying Pokemon. As it switches out into Simi Sage and being forced out. Forced into Surfetched here. Simi Sage going for that spiky shield as Surfetched goes for first impression. I thought that move did contact. Seed Bomb dealing or knocking it down to about half health. Uh, even lower now. Leaf Blade with the crit still not taking that Simi Sage out. And a Seed Bomb does take out that Surfetch. Swordward's on his last Pokemon, Glissapod. Setting up the Spiky Shield. And a Seed Bomb does take out the Glissapod. So, Bianca takes game number two which means this is our fifth match with a game number three in a row. 
Oh, is our co-host here? Yes, sir. Hey, welcome. Seen the auto mod activated. Uh, so real quick, uh, Bianca took or Swordward took game one. Bianca took game two. So we've got a fifth game three in a row. Damn. But uh, how are you doing today? Uh, you know what? Uh, I've been up for a long time. Hmm. Sounds like you're having a blast. Uh, something like that. I mean, they went by pretty fast at least. So far, we've only seen Z bulk up from Embor, and we haven't seen Swordward's Dynamax yet. Interesting. Uh, Haxorus has Dragon Dance Outrage. Uh huh, of course. Break. Sure, sure. I saw that Simi Sage had Spiky Shield, which I didn't know that it could learn. Yeah, me neither. Uh, but it did prove helpful against Felicipod. Yeah, plus, it definitely did. And Surfetched. Plus the poison jab going or popping off from me and Shao. Yeah, that definitely <laughs> did not help things at all for Swordward. No. But, hey, maybe this Grass Monkey has finally proven a point. You know, I really hope not. What do you mean? Weren't you cheering for it back in... I, it, I, it was, I, I wasn't serious. It was uh, ironic. Well, he's making it serious. Especially with that spiky shield. And seed bomb. But once these trainers are ready, we can get into game number three. Ugh. You ever feel like you're far fetched and sir fetched is the guy she tells you not to worry about? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it went. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Stoutland coming out here, activating Intimidate, but Bisharp gets a plus one from that instead. Wow. What exactly is so intimidating about this, about a Stoutland? You know how big those things are? What, his whiskers? No, I mean, I get dog in general. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're large, but in, like, by Pokemon standards? Not that big. True. Charizard's under 5'6", so... Short King Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> but switching out to the Imbor as Imbor goes for that Z Volca. Getting a plus 2 on that attack and plus 1 defense. Yeah, that, uh, that Z Volca, you know... Swords Dance and a, you know, defense boost all in one. Yeah. Head Smash just taking out the Embor. Just too bad that Embor's kind of a slow Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, here he comes. The Grass Be Monkey afraid. is here! Be not afraid. And be very afraid. Be terrified. Shake in your leather boots. Simi Sage is here. They better not be real leather, though. Why not? Uh, that's inhumane. Okay. These aren't human, they're Pokemon. Uh, you know what, fair. We should kill Mil Tanks for their leather. Uh, yeah. Seed Ouch. Bomb 
taking out the Rampardos. Just not even giving it a chance. Maybe it's Tauros. We just take kill. Or I don't maybe know. it maybe it is Mil Tank. Because how many trainers have suffered the rollout? Too many. First impression into that spiky shield. It hurts a lot for that Calissa pod. Yeah, As it's X uh... E. Alright. <laughs> Threat neutralized. We're good. We're safe, boys. What is Bianca gonna do now? All downhill from here for Bianca. Going into the Aegis Slash. And you turning right out of there. Does not want any part of that. Not at all. Oh, that was a good play from Bianca. Not just the Intimidate, but the normal type as well. Yeah, I'll charge doing a little bit of damage. Take what well, Salen takes some recoil, but just heals it back up with the lefties, so he's he's good. Oh, this thing has play rough. Oh yeah. Uh, but uh, we have a D dance taxers. It does have life orb though. It looks like so. Ah, uh, yeah. Fake out just takes it. And now it is three v three right now. Ugh. You know, I'm not supposed to have. We're not supposed to have bias, but kind of room for Bianca on this one. You wow. You, I mean, fucked up that you would say that because now Bianca's gonna lose. Oh, there's the Dynamax. Oh, Dynamax are fetched. He's massive. That is quite the tall leak he's got there. Now this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah. Well, there oh, he goes. Taken out by the Psychic. Unfortunately, not able to set up anymore. Max Knuckles get even higher attack. Flamethrower dealing three fourths to that Aegis Slash as Shadow Claw takes out Shenmue. I feel like Sword Warrior is getting a lot of crits here. Yeah. I mean, maybe just crits all around, to be honest. Oh my god, another one. And the, Does this thing have, like, scope lens or something like that? I have no idea, but that means Sword Warrior moves on to round two. Where he'll be going up against Faulkner, the Johto gym leader. Yay. But. My favorite. Yeah, woo, I get to say Swordward more in the future. Awesome. But sword, swordward, Shieldward, and Squidward. Thank you so much for watching, and take care. Peace.